I had them out here at Harris Lake and I uh, trolled up a school of uh, white perch and I went back and I'm sitting right off this point right here. I'm throwing a spoon right now, but watch this. Literally every cast is a nice school, real nice perch too. What we call uh, large, I guess, not jumbos, but they're off this point right out here. And what I'm doing is bumping this spoon along the bottom. And uh, I had four on at a time trolling. I had five rods out and all four went down. So I came back and I'm sitting out here now. It's about eight o'clock. Let's see if we can't get one on here. Let the spoon hit the bottom. I mean, about, there he is right there. He hit it on the fall. Missed it. There he is again. There he is. Got him that time. Look at that rod. I got him that time. Yeah, they're hitting real good. I'm going to see if I can put a few in the boat before the school goes away. These are nice ones, too. Boy, he's pulling hard. Wow. Jumbo perch. Nice perch. He's a large. Alright. He's a large. Let's see here. Pretty, pretty perch and pretty quiet well. This is my new boat here, my fishing boat. I got a uh, seat back here in the back. As you can see I got some rod holders out, but I uh, got me a live well right behind, right behind the camera there. Alright, let it hit the bottom. Twitch it. Twitch it. There he is right there. This is a small one here, but I've had been in some nice fish. All right, I'm gonna let this one here go. A little small. I like getting jumbos. Throw it back out. Then hit the bottom, switch it. Work it kind of slow. There he is right there. There he is right there. It's just how quick it can be when you find a nice school of them. Beautiful morning this morning. Water temperature is about 80. All right. Well, they're engulfing that thing. They want it this morning, too. They're hungry. Get some pliers out here in a minute. Yep, I'm going to get my pliers. Here's a spoon I'm using. All right. uh, I use this a lot. I catch white bass, bass, crappie, and, of course, white perch on it. I'm going to cast on that spoon. Going down, down, down. There we just hit the bottom. There he is, right there. Oh yeah, good puller right here. Oh, he got off. Let it, let it back down. That one got off. That's the only thing about these hooks. I'm gonna bend them out just a little bit. Let me bend that out just a hair. A lot of times these hooks are real small and I'll take and uh, just take the bottom of the hook like so, slightly bend it out. Or at least two of them. That'll give you a better hookup ratio right here. I'll bend them out a little. Alright. Pull it back out. I'm watching my line until it goes slack. It tells you to hit the bottom, and it's still out there, I'm sure. Go back on the point a little further. There, there he was right there. Just about every time there he is right there. Hitting that spoon good. 
That's pretty good fish here. Oh, oh, he got off right there. Dog gone. That was a good fish. Go back up on the point more. Seemed to be back there a little bit better. So he is right there. He hit it on the fall. See that? That was falling. I hadn't even started retrieving yet. He's a small fish. Well, he's pulling pretty good now. I guess he could feel that hook. Fish. Look at there, he swallowed that swallowed that spoon. Alright. Yeah, they're back on that point a little bit further than where I was throwing. I think they're in there pretty thick. Let's see what happens here. I haven't hit it on the fall. Watch my rod. Sometimes you'll snatch your rod down. And I'm just barely twitching it. They bumped it right there. It's hitting it right now. They bumped it again. Taking it all the way down. Oh, yeah. Right on the bottom, Rich. Stretch it, move it, stretch it, stretch it. Keep hitting it now. Mm, hitting it right now. Ooh, can't hook him. Must be small. There you go. You got a hook in him that time. Pretty good fish. Pretty good fish. Have to be careful of these white perch. You got a bad gill plate on them, will cut you open. Pretty fish. All right, let's try again. That was a good fish I lost. There he is right there. They're on that point thick. Nice school of them too. Small fish. Get off of there, baby. Get off of there. Ouch. Just can't get a little bigger fish throwing back to that point. Right there. There he is. It's just that fast, too, folks, when you find them. Oh, got off. Now I'm going to let it hit the bottom again. Twitch it. Might be another one down there following. No. Go up here. Let's try up here to the right. There's any up here. All right, then you can see the worker, how it worked this rod. I'm watching the line going down. One's already hit it. I felt it. There he is right there. Well, that's a good fish right here. He hit it on the fall. He's a puller, too. Yeah, he's a puller. Great fishing right here. When they're hot, they're hot. Good fish right here, folks. Good fish. Oh, boy, that's a nice perch right there. Look at that. There he is right there. 
It's going to be just this fast. Oh, yeah, I'll let him go. Let him grow up a little bit. Bumped it over a little bit closer to the bank. I'm not quite getting to them, I don't think. There he is, right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. He nailed it. Nailed that spoon. I like that spoon right there. I want you to pull it, too. Wow. Oh, he's a pull. That's a nice perch. Nice perch. He's a good catfish bait too. I go up to Lake Gaston, Car Lake, and I like to change these up the chunks. I use them for big cats, blue cats. Right, right behind here. Straight back. That way you can watch the rod and set the hook. Goes on the bottom. There he is, right there. There he is. Oh boy, that's a good, good fish right here. Good fish. Mm. Not as big as I thought it was. Well, he for sure hit it hard though. Makes you wonder how to get away sometimes. Switch that spoon and let it fall. A lot, a lot of time. Ooh, missed him. Oh, got him that time. When it's falling, they'll hit it on the fall. The spoon's fluttering. When it flutters down. They think it's a injured bait fish and uh, they eat it up. All right. Okay. Pretty nice fish. Wow. Sucker hurt me there. There's a bunch of them back there. Not the biggest in the world, but there's a lot of them back there. You gotta get them while you can, because when that sun gets up, a lot of times it dries them out of heat. There's one over there. There he is. Ooh, how in the world they get off? I don't know. Put your finger, he's hitting it right there. There he is. Oh yeah, he's making a fuss now. He's not very big. Oh boy, this is a grown one. This is a grown one. You see that rod go down? Let's see if I can't get him in because he's a nice fish. He is a puller. He hit it like a ton of bricks. He's going to throw a fit right here. Yep. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, he got off right there at the boat. Oh well, can't get them all, I reckon. A bunch of them behind the boat back here, though. We got a point that comes out right behind me here, and uh, I'm throwing up on the edge of that point. And there he is, right there. He hit it on the fall right there. That's just how fast it can be. He got away. Foul my, foul my thing right there. Let's get back out there and get 
falling down. You gotta really pay attention when that thing's falling. They'll thump it going down a lot of times. Okay, I'm a little deeper water here. I'll get a bigger fish. There you go. There he is. Oh man! He's hitting it and I'm missing him. He's hitting right here at the boat. He was wanting that thing. He was wanting it, all right. I missed him three times. Got a little deeper water out there. That's a bigger fish to be holding out there. Come on, baby. Come on. could be a catfish. It's mighty big. I believe it's some catfish. We're going to see here in a minute. They're pulling like a catfish. Oh, man. Yeah, it's got to be a cat. Pulling like a catfish. Oh, boy, a big old bass. A big old bass. Let me get him in for Mr. Larry. He's throwing up shad everywhere. Let me get this net. Big old bass here. I catch them things every now and then. I ain't really fishing for them. But... Uh, oh, he's putting up a fit. All right, we got him. He uh, he was throwing up shad. Let me show you what he looks like here. And I'll show you how this how good the spoon is. All right, there's your nice bass. Now look, there's my spoon right there. I don't know if you can see him or not. Look at that spoon. He's all but inhaled it. And he had a bunch of shad in his belly. He was throwing them up out there. There. Pretty little bass. Pretty little bass. I'll let her go. Small one. Small perch. He's still a boy. Let's go. But it's fun. Probably caught, I don't know how many we got, 25 or 30, I guess, sitting right here in this one spot. Going back there. No. Man, it's hot, y'all. Getting hot. Okay, I'm in about 10, 12 feet right here. Let's see that. About left us. There he is. Talk about him. Gotta talk about him. Pretty good fish here. Stay in now. Oh, That's a good one right here. Move that a little deeper. Move that a little bit deeper. I figured that. There, caught him under the chin there. He was swiping at it as it was falling. So I'm going to move the boat out. I just, you'll see it turning here in just a second. 
to watch the background there. Got to move out just a little bit. Right, just a little deeper off this point. I think the fish have moved out. Pretty sure they have. They were in about four or five foot of water feeding when I got here. And all they do is move out. There he is right there. Oh, it's a good hit right there. Look at that rock. Pretty good perch here. I'm really surprised I hadn't caught a crappie out here this morning, but uh, the perch are in here did. Good fish. Oh, well, he's a puller. A nice fish right here. Get her in the boat. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Nice fish. Nice perch. They haven't gone anywhere. All they did was move back out a little deeper. Going out there now. And that's, uh, I'll tell you exactly how deep it is. It's exactly 10 feet. And just twitch that thing, slow it down a little bit. Look, erratic action right there. See there? They're out there. They're off the point out here deeper. He's a baby. He's a baby. He's going back out there and get bigger. I'll catch you next year. Strong fall. There he is. He hit it on the fall right there. Well, I missed him. He hit it though. They're really in there. There he is again, there's another one. Falling. Look at there. Three strikes in a row. Three strikes, you're out. That's a pretty good fish here. Some terrific action this morning. See if I can get her in. Oh, what a jumbo. What a jumbo. Goodness gracious. Nice fish here. Thing with all the fish. Well, look at that guy. Got that one in the eye. That thing's jumping around down there and they strike at it and sometimes you foul hook them. What they call foul hook. Pretty perch right there. A little deep right there. Just hit the bottom. There he was right there. Get out there. Alright, just hit the bottom. There he was right there. Hit it on the fall. He's the 15th of uh, June, and what a beautiful day it rained last night, and uh, if we really needed. Mm. He's hitting the spoon, come on baby. There he is right there, look at that. Boy, he bowed down, don't you get off of that. This is a grown one. Uh-oh, Mr. Catfish, I believe, y'all. Caught a bass and we're catching the perch. And I think we got our first catfish here. Let's see. It's the blue one right here. Actually, it's pulling like another bass. Let's see. White line. Just, just let him uh, let him pull. You can see the rod. Just wear him down. In a few minutes, he'll come up. I believe it. I'm not sure if it's a cat or a bass. It's staying down deep, though. I'm fixing to see it in the middle. Oh, my cat is. Big old cat, nice channel cat. Nice channel cat right here. I'll pull him in and show him to you. Well, you can hear him, he's a razor cane. Uh, we got him. He's ours now though. All right, let's see what we got here. 
He's got us a nice channel kick. Boy, he's been doing some battling. He's been spawning. Let me tell you something. He's got scars all over. He has scars all over. Look at these scars. Where he's been fighting. It's a nice channel. It's full of full of food too. He must have just finished the spawn. I'm gonna let her go. It's a nice catfish, huh? battery was dead and I want to show y'all what I just caught again on the jig. Mr. Larry and Keith will love this. I am the king of the bass fishermen with this spoon. Just pulled this baby in. She gave me a great fight. Just a great fight. Nice healthy fish. Nice bass. She got that spoon. I'm going to let her go. Let's see what I like to do. I throw out a, a lot of curly tails. These are called curly tail jigs. And I like fishing with those. Let me get this thing set up here. Put them on auto pilot. Alright, let's see. Get going. I'm going to show you exactly. Alright, got it on auto pilot. I've got uh, different colors. I like to use brown, green, orange, chartreuse, white. I use different colors until I find out if they're hitting one particular color. And then I'll go and stick with that. So I'm going to throw out and get these boys set up and uh, be back with you in just a second. Alright, I'm all set up now. Um, I got my jigs out. I got five rods going right now. I could fish six, but uh, this is a good way to locate We'll see fish. what happens. Beautiful morning. It's hot. That's what a strike looks like on a down rod right here. So I got one on here. I'm going to pull him in. Not very big, but I'll pull him in. One rod went down, so I'm not going to stop. Crappy, I believe it's a crappy. Crappy's come to the top. I'm pretty sure this is a crappy. Yep, it is a crappy. There's one on the other rod over here too, hitting. Nice crappy right there. Crappy, pretty crappy. Let's keep that one. Good eater. Pretty crappy. All right, just had one hit. Got one on this rod right here. I'm gonna see if I can catch him for you. I believe it's crappy. He pulled really hard. I got another one. Oh, he's going to town. He's got me all hung up back. It is a crappy. Yeah, nice crappy too. I told Larry I thought it was a crappy. I was just on the phone with my buddy Larry Deal and tell him I've had a good morning. No, it's a big old perch. Look at the size of that perch right there. That is a jumbo perch. That's a pretty one right there. And he hit the, uh, as you can see, he hit brown. That was the only one I got out of there, so there's not a school of them. Put him in the box. Huh? Just picked up some specks on the bottom of my rig. I think I got a nice crappy on here. He uh, looked like little screen. You see these specks right in here? They were crappy back there. Right there. Just showed you the screen. Sure enough, here's another crappy. If I don't lose him, I'll show him to you. He's a small one. I'm gonna let him go. But there you go. That's what we were looking for, and we got him. A little black crappy. Let her go. Oh, got two more on. Three on. Got two more on. One here, oh boy, a puller. Got a big one on here. Got two on right here. Got two, two nice crappy on. One pulling, pulling drag. Let's see if I can get this one in. I guess this is a, this is a crappy. Oh, it's a grown crappy, y'all. A grown crappy. Lord, have mercy. Uh, 
Look at here. Look at here, what a crappy. Got me hung in the other one. I think I got two on here. All right, nice crappy right there. Let's see if I can't get that other one in. Too. I saw those on the unit there. All right, let me see if I've got another one. There. 